So just wanted to throw together a quick video uh, with a bit more detail with regard to my garage lift. Uh, first off, uh, for rails and dollies, uh, I use a piece of Unistrut 1 and 5 8 channel. So you can see it's like a C channel with a bent in lip. I've just got this mounted to the wall with some uh, lag bolts. So what I did was I took down the, uh, the sheeting on the inside of the walls, put in some extra studs, two on each side, and uh, after fixing them in, I went ahead and bolted directly into those with my channel. So I'll just bring the lift down and uh, show the dollies and then the, uh, the lift and what the lift is affixed to of overhead. One other thing I did was I also extended the uh, controller just by chopping it up and uh, putting in some extra 12 gauge for the four connectors. That way I've got enough length that I can put it up and have the controller down. As you can see I have a 440-880 electric cable hoist to fix to a 4x2 metal beam it's hollow square stock or hollow tube stock whatever you want to call it uh, for support I didn't want to attach it to my trusses so what I did was I laminated 2x12s and have them on the floor you'll see that they're bolted to supports that go across three of the trusses but that's only to keep it from moving left and right kind of thing all the actual force transferred through the beam comes down through those and onto the floor above. I also had to extend my lengths of rail so I just built up a simple frame like that for the extra pieces of rail that go all the way up. With regard to the types of dollies that I use, these are just standard 1 and 5 8 dollies. You can get them on big master car I'll try to remember to post a link to those when I uh, put the video together. But essentially, they're roller bearings on either side, and they bolt with one bolt directly onto the frame that I made for my lift. So now I'll go ahead and bring you upstairs. And we'll have a look at the uh, the lift beam and the hoist. Looks like in the up position. Tiny bit more. So what I've done around it because I heat the uh, the downstairs portion of my garage during the winter when I'm working. Is uh, I've just used some simple weather strip. If you look down here, you can see the plastic weather strip is just affixed to the bottom of the lift itself, and it seals up when it comes up to the hole. Here's the cable hoist. It's a power fist. 440 slash 880 pound electric cable hoist with the cable extended all the way down uh, and not double back it'll do 440 pounds when it's double back through a catch block it'll do 880 so that's what I use there's another one available which goes up to 1320 pounds but for my use I don't think I need anything that big <coughs> here are the laminated 2x12s that I use as supports on either side See what I've done is I've laminated some 2x12 as feet. It goes under under all the old motorcycles shit. And the two 2x12s laminated. Bolted to the simple frame I put up against the trusses. And then all I did was I notched out a 2x4 space in top in the middle of each laminated beam either side. Or each uh, post I guess if you want to call it. And I just rest the 10 foot long 4x2 beam right in that. I don't even have it bolted in or fixed. It just stays in there under its own weight. So now we're just going to head on back down.
So there you have it. Other than what I've shown you so far in the video, you've just got a, you know, a bunch of 1x2 8th inch rectangular tube stock that I created the frame out of. And you just essentially make it to fit your, uh, your application, simple as that. Hopefully this is helpful.